Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3 back with another video. Today's topic, are the Bills satisfied with the defensive end roster that they have? Is Brandon Bean going to make another move before training camp starts? Stick around. I'm going to tell you all about it. You know I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask somebody about me. Oh. Before we get into today's topic, are you a sponsored member of the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel? The link is in the description. All you have to do is click on that link, become a sponsored member, and it gets you premium content. That gets your comments on every video replied to first. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, share this video, all that cool stuff will come to you. Link is in the description down below. Now let's get to the topic. Defensive ends. Are the Bills satisfied with the guys on the roster? Is Brandon Bean satisfied with the guys that he has to line up on the defensive line on Sundays when the 2019 season starts? I'm here to say I think Brandon Bean's going to make another move. Now, one move that was already made, in case you've been living under a rock for the last week, the Bills extended Jerry Hughes for two more years. What does that get the Bills? A veteran presence to lead this young core of defenders into the future. You got the Shaq Lawsons, you got the Ed Olivers, you got the Eddie Yarboroughs, the Star Latulays, the Harrison Phillips, all the guys along that line to lead into the future. Now, some say that's a pretty hefty contract, 23 million over two years, but if you look at the average salary, if you break down the average salary across the board in the NFL, that's a pretty modest contract. And it only counts for two and a half million dollars this season, leaving the Bills with some money to play with if they want to go out and sign somebody else or make a trade and extend a veteran player. Now, Jerry Hughes over the last four years has only gotten 22 sacks. Some say five sacks a year, 23 million. It doesn't add up. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. Jerry Hughes was second in the NFL last season in pressures off the edge. Coming off the edge, Jerry Hughes was a wrecking ball. He was causing havoc. He was pushing quarterbacks into other defenders such as Trent Murphy, Shaq Lawson, Eddie Arbro. That's how those guys are accumulating sacks. If you go back and watch the film, he's getting pressure all the time, constantly. He's making quarterbacks uncomfortable, and these other guys are being able to you know, get their sacks because of it. Now... The two years that Mario Williams and Jerry Hughes were extremely dominant was 2013-2014. In 2014 alone, the two combined for 24 and a half sacks. That's pretty good. Now, some may say, well, I just made a case for the other guys getting sacks because one guy's causing pressure, leading the quarterback right into the other defender's arms. But if you go back and watch the film, Back in 2014, that defense was dominant. It was dominant up the middle with Kyle Williams. It was dominant up the middle with Marcel Darius. It was dominant on both ends with Mario Williams and with Jerry Hughes. So if the Bills can add another presence on the other end, something that's sustainable, somebody who's a veteran, somebody who's got a high upside in his career, I think that Jerry Hughes will get the sack numbers way up. Now, let's talk about the other guys. So the other guys on the roster currently are Shaq Lawson, who is going into his fourth season. Brandon Bean didn't pick up the fourth year option for Shaq Lawson. Uh, there could be a reason why. It could be because every year he has not risen to that star that they thought he was gonna be when he was drafted in the first round. Now, granted, everybody knows about the Brandon Bean regime. Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean like their guys. They like to draft their guys, just like any other head coach, just like any other GM. They want to bring their guys in, they want to mature their guys, and they want them to be successful. Now, Shaq Lawson did play decent in the second half of last season. He got some sacks, but he was more effective in the run defense game which is what they needed. He was swatting passes down in the pass defense. He just wasn't getting the pressures. I feel like Shaq Lawson is gonna be looking for a contract, possibly with another team this year, so maybe look for him to take another step in that direction of where he needs to be to be a force coming on the end opposite of Jerry Hughes. 
Now we also have Trent Murphy. Everybody knows about Trent Murphy. Injury issues the season before the Bills signed him, injury issues with the Bills last year. Also had the PED suspension coming off after the season that he had nine and a half sacks. So I think that Trent Murphy is a very serviceable rotational guy. Is he very serviceable and rotational for the, the salary that he's making? I don't think so. But Brandon Bean has already guaranteed his salary for this year because he was on the roster after the date to where they had to pay him his guaranteed money. So if you look at a couple games last year, Trent Murphy was disruptive. The Vikings game in particular. He had a sack, he caused a fumble, and he had some some little signs, little, little signs here and there throughout the season when he was actually playing um, that he was a very serviceable defensive end. I think he's a more rotational guy, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd be interested to get your take on Shaq Lawson and Trent Murphy. Drop it in the comments. As you guys know, I read all the comments. I respond to as many as possible. So let's keep it going. The Bills signed Eli Harold. One-year contract. Not a big name, but I do think he's a serviceable player. Pretty modest contract. He's had nine sacks in his career, so that's not something that stands out as a guy who's going to be a dominant force coming off the end. Uh, change of scenery, maybe, but he's had four different teams in four different years. So he's had change of scenery every year for the last four years. So some people are telling me, hey, Dave, you know what? Don't sleep on Eli Harold. This guy is athletic. This guy plays the part. He's great with his hands, good footwork. So we're going to have to see. Another guy. Eddie Yarbrough. So Eddie Yarbrough is one of those guys. He's kind of was the underdog story uh, last season uh, or the two seasons ago. Last season, very serviceable. Rotational guy, definitely. Um, helps a lot in the run defense. You know, had one of the highest rated run defensive scores on PFF last season for the Bills. Great character guy. Awesome locker room presence. I think that he'll make the 53 and he'll be a rotational guy. Now, I just named a few. You know, the writing was on the wall that Brandon Bean wanted to upgrade the position. He was clearly in the running, you know, for free agents throughout the entire period. Ziggy Ansah was the biggest name that was out there as far as free agent defense events. Now, Ziggy Ansah is coming off of a, a shoulder injury, pretty bad shoulder injury that kind of pushed off his free agent signings with any team back and back and back and further and further and further along. Then we got through the draft. Then all of a sudden, things started to heat up. Brandon Bean was on record saying, hey, look, all this noise you're hearing about the Seattle Seahawks and it being a done deal, that's not the case. Only to turn around and find out the next day that Ziggy Ansah signed with the Seattle Seahawks. So the writing is kind of on the wall. It's similar to the situation where Brandon Bean was trying to make a trade for Antonio Brown because he was trying to upgrade that position. Ultimately didn't get Antonio Brown, but guess what? He went out and signed two studs in free agency. As we all know, they signed John Brown and Cole Beasley. So I think that there's something to be said about Brandon Bean, and when he wants something, he goes after it. Now, there's not a big list of names out there as far as free agents on the market right now, but that doesn't mean Brandon Bean won't pull the trigger on a trade. So... I'm pretty interested to, to see what you guys think. Are the Bills done at defensive end? Is this the roster that we're taking into training camp, into preseason, and into the regular season? The guys that we have on the roster right now. So drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to get your take on it. I personally think that Brandon Bean is going to go out and get somebody else. You're always going to have casualties, cap casualties during training camp. You're going to have guys that just aren't happy and are going to be holding out the Jadavian Clownies of the world, things like that. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? The link's in the description. Become a sponsored member. Subscribe to this channel. Click that notification bell so you know when all of my videos are coming up. Hit that like button. Share this video wherever you're at. If you're watching on Facebook, you know that I'm the Facebook operator for the Buffalo Fanatics. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video, like it, comment it, put it out there. I'm DM3, and I'll see you guys on the next one.